the biggest positive is I'm alive, I'm here today, which is um, yeah, something that, that a lot of people don't get to say, but I also see more and more people defying the odds, people living four years, five years, six years, treatments progressing. It's, uh, it's hard sometimes to, to find those positives, but they are there. I've started doing end of life planning, uh, advanced end of life planning with my local hospice. So we have things in place where I now understand what is going to happen with my GP, community nurses, with the hospice workers. I have a better understanding of what is going to happen when I do get unwell and eventually start dying, which was a very intimidating conversation for me to have, but ultimately weirdly made me feel better to understand because when you don't, you paint an image in your mind that is a lot worse than, than the reality of it. And I mean, in terms of support and the environment that you're going to be in. And now I have a good relationship with my hospice. I can feel more confident that when I do pass away, there is going to be a big support system there, not just for my partner and my family, but for me. <laughs> there is sometimes a pressure to set up the world for those around you when you're no longer in it. But I think that is so natural. And I think that's something that so many people who are dying deal with because you're not going to be here. You want to make sure the world is good for everybody else around you as much as it can be.